be like water in the journey of life, and in stormy weather, be resilient like bamboo. True waking is realized by standing firm in the storm, and then flowing from the current. In a quiet village nestled between mountains and forests, there lived a young man named Sora. Sora was wayward and troubled. His heart was in quest of peace and understanding. He had been told of a wise Zen master called Master Li, who was said to stay in a quiet temple deep in the bamboo woods. In search of truth, led by his heart, Sora set out to seek the mentorship of the said master. After walking for days through the dense forest, Sora came to the temple and was received with a warm smile by Master Li. Master Li, Sora said, I am in quest of spiritual enlightenment. I search for reality and seek peace at heart. Please show me the way. Calm as he seemed, Master Li nodded. To spiritually awaken, one needs to know how to flow like water and stand firm like bamboo. Follow me. They wandered to a small brook that ran through the trees. Its smooth, fluid movements around stones and roots forming a gentle tune. Observe the water flow, Sora, Masterly said, waving a hand toward the stream. It meets obstacles, yet it does not struggle against them. It bends around them and flows on. He looked at the water and how it changed its course where there was no resistance. Master Li said again, This is the spiritual wake-up of water. Learn from this water. No resistance to difficulties and rigidity. Flow with the currents of life. Master Li next took Sora to a stand of tall bamboo. The stalks swayed gracefully with the wind, their leaves whispering secrets of the forest. Now look at the bamboo, said Master Li. It stands tall and strong, yet it bends with the wind. It is flexible but unbreakable. Sora just stared at the resilience of the bamboo. Then Master Li explained, that is also how you must be to awaken spirituality, the strength of the bamboo in principle and flexibility in approach. Bend when necessary, but do not break. For some weeks, Sora stayed at the temple, meditating beside the stream, amidst the bamboos. He aimed to train his mind in awareness. That is, how he could get rid of his fears and anxieties and catch the moment present. Face your fears and doubts, he was told, but let them go by, like the water in the stream, you remaining unshaken, like the bamboo. One day, Sora sat by the stream, meditating, and suddenly felt a great sense of clarity wash over him. He felt connected to the flowing water and the steadfast bamboo. True spiritual awakening wasn't about shunning life's adversities. It was about embracing them with grace and resilience. He walked to Master Li with a renewed sense of calm. Master, I understand. Spiritual awakening is being like the flow of water and standing firm like the bamboo plant. It is the way of acceptance and strength within. Masterly smiled, his eyes twinkling with wisdom. Indeed, Sora, spiritual awakening is a continuous journey. Remember, every moment you have to flow and stand firm. Embrace the journey and you shall find peace. Full of gratitude, Sora bowed and left the temple, carrying lessons from the stream and the bamboo. As he moved through the return forest, he felt much more in tune with the world around him. Though he knew his journey had just begun, he could now slip into it, ready, with wisdom about to be gained. Thus, Sora continued to journey in search of spiritual enlightenment guided by the simple yet profound truths of nature, flowing like water and standing firm like bamboo. The story teaches us that spiritual awakening means finding the middle way of balance and harmony inside the individual self. Water needs to adapt and flow around obstacles yet not resist. 
working on every problem by standing firm in principle, but not rigid in approach, embracing life's challenges with grace and resilience, and finding peace in this present moment shall lead one on the path of true spiritual awakening.